Tonight we are hearing from the family of the man who was killed in a shooting at the DMAX facility in Moraine. Police say a man walked into DMAX, shot and killed Jeffrey Allen, Jeffrey James Allen III, before shooting another and then turning the gun on himself. Now the family of the father of two is wanting answers tonight on why. Clara Faith joins us live in Moraine after speaking with the family. So Clara, what exactly are they telling you? I spoke with the cousin of Jeffrey, uh, uh, sorry, Jeffrey James Allen the third, and he tells me he saw Allen earlier this week, and he can't believe he's gone. The shots came from over towards the Sim police area. The Moraine Police Department responded to a call Thursday night at D-Max facility of gunshots fired inside, which led to the death of 28-year-old Jeffrey James Allen the third, an employee. Allen's cousin Carlos Allen says he's in disbelief. I'm kind of taking it hard right now. Carlos tells me him and Allen were close. Me and my cousin talked every morning. We called and talked to each other just to see how our life's been going. Allen was pronounced dead on scene. The Moran police believes he was a target in the shooting. We're all trying to peace everything together and trying to figure out still why this happened. I spoke with a neighbor who lives across the street from D-Max facility. She says she witnessed the moment police arrived. I saw like a whole bunch of police officers like zoom in here like. She says people were running and screaming from the building. But then I saw like a bunch of workers coming from this direction down here and they were like all telling me like go home there's an active shooter and According to police, a domestic dispute over a female colleague led to the shooting. Carlos wishes it never happened. It was just kind of weird waking up this morning and not seeing my phone ring with his name calling. And it's just kind of devastating that I won't be able to get to talk to him again like I normally do. The suspect is in critical but stable conditions, and right now the D-Max facility remains closed through the police investigation. Reporting live in Moraine, Clara Faith, Dayton 24-7 Now News.